good win for your team last week, but another tough road win uh, or tough road game coming up. At least um, you know, it just never gets easier in this league. No, uh, anytime you have to play on the road in uh, in our conference, it's 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 difficult. Doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, you know, we've played over there several times, and um, it's a you know it's a it's a it's a cool place to play. Actually, it's you know it's not it's just kind of a, you know it was as far as one of the first domes in the in the Midwest. Anyways, I remember my days at Eastern Illinois. It was kind of fun to play over there. But um, yeah, we, you have to go on the road and you have to play well, and you, you can't uh, do the things that, that get you beat. So it's 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 important that uh, you're focused and you're you're uh, and you and you, we play hard. So that'll that'll be the key to the game. But good for another good football team and. And uh, to on a side note, if you, you know the, 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 the their schedule has just been brutal uh, with what they've had to what they've had to go through and play. It's it's been tough for them. So I I don't know how many teams would come out of that unscathed. I mean I, I, I really don't. It's because that's a pretty tough schedule for FCS. So with that, I'll ask questions. Uh, it'd be hard to hard to believe. I, I, I'd like to see that one. I, I, I don't know. This this one. The yeah, I guess, but boy, the last seven they played have been awful. They're really good. So, questions? Yes. Yeah, they played with a lot of energy and uh, played fast. I thought. Um, you know, we were we were pretty. Uh, fundamentally sound. We did some. We did a lot of good things. Um, uh, more like us, you know. It was it was, um, you know, you when you don't have a couple players, you it, it, it you normally would have. You, you kind of wonder, you know, how, boy, that, but uh, you know, I think Amir did a, did some nice things. Um, you, could, you felt his presence a little bit more than uh, uh, than than. than the, you kind of remember how good a player he was. <laughs> so so he he's uh, yeah he he. And he was disruptive, and he made some plays, and that was great. And uh, Keandre, you know, having him on the field, it's just from a, a a morale standpoint, it's really really good for our team because he's a he's a good leader. You know, he has he's an emotional guy and plays plays the way game ran right way, and uh, so and he, he and people follow him. So that was that was a good thing. Yeah, we played better. You know, you hope that uh, you know we can we can uh, continue to build on it and uh, and keep getting better. Because we're going to have to be. You mentioned Amir's impact, but I think there's the downhill flow from just having a guy like him back and just what he brings energy wise, but also you get guys maybe settling back into the positions you originally had them in the play instead of moving guys. Yeah, we have had to, you know, we have to do that shuffling thing. And that, that, that's part of, you know, that's part of football and uh, or sports for that matter, you know. Um, and I work for a guy, you know, Coach Tiller now, you don't make excuses when it comes to injuries now. And we don't, and uh, it is part. It's part of the deal, you know. It's just it's, you have to be prepared for that. And uh, for we, we've been tested early and often, you know, uh, this year with that. And uh, you know, I think our, our players, particularly our players, have done a really good job of of locking in and doing what we ask them to do, and and you know, and and, and take on the uh, the assignment or the mission they have to take on in, in order to be successful in the game. And and then our coaching staff has done a good job with that. You know, they've done a really good job of leading, and um, and uh, you just got to tell them why sometimes. And uh, hey, this is why we're doing it. And they they, they totally get it. And they they're not guys are, are smart. You know, they don't. Uh, you know, we I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to put this in my on my plate because such and such isn't out here today. So uh, that's just the way it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it, it's yeah, you just got to keep moving forward and don't. Uh, you really can't can't flinch, you know. It's part of the, it's part of football. It's part of sport, and uh, you know you can't can't make excuses like that. Yeah, we run the ball pretty well Saturday too, coach. We pretty good. Yeah, we went what, what was it? No, one ninety three, something like that. Yeah, not bad. Almost two hundred yards rushing. Yeah, we had some nice things in there. Had some big runs. Uh, had some chunk runs. Had some runs that we we wished we would have. We had a, we thought if we had a, either we had a blocking assignment mistake somewhere or maybe the, a back missed a. Missed a hole or didn't miss a cut, but uh, uh, we might have even a bigger one. But um, you know, that's in, in a lot of games. But um, yeah, for the most part, we we ran the ball pretty well, and uh, the quarterback was you know a little bit. Yeah, you know, obviously was a lot better than he was the week before, and, uh, and hopefully he's better this week.
So, so far, so good. What does their offense uh, do well? Well, I think they've uh, they they run the ball well, in my opinion, but they they can't throw it. And I think that they made a change at quarterback a couple of weeks ago. You know, about four games ago, I believe, and uh, um, they, they that has that has kind of changed them a little bit. They're, they've become uh, more balanced, I would say, and uh, and, and, and and very effective. Uh, he throws the ball well. Um, he's on time. He's on target. He's got a he's got a he's got a big arm. Um, he he you know they that they they have they have very good receivers. I know that's stunning that uh, Northern Iowa has very good receivers, but because they always do, uh, uh, they have very very good they have good wideouts and uh, and tight ends. And uh, but their backs are big guys. They're downhill runners. They're they're a handful. They're you know they they'll be they'll be hard to deal with. Uh, in the running game as well, so uh, I think I think that's what's changed them the most. So a little more balance to their to their uh, repertoire, if you will, and uh, and they can take shots. The quarterback has a big uh, you know has a big enough arm to, 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 to attack your your coverages, and he can make he can make big time throws if he needs to. So that's probably the best way I could describe it. They're pretty balanced. Is that number three coach that's now playing? Correct. Mm-hmm. I think he and Cal Martini are team high school teammates. They're both from Appleton North. Yeah. Yeah. Good good player. Coach with long losing streaks like that. What in Mark Farley's position, what are you looking for to, out of your team to try to snap that out? You probably I don't think you've been in situations like that, but you know other coaches. I don't even think about it, you know. I, I really don't. I see what I see on tape that are positives for them, that they things they do really well, and things we're going to have to defend or have to, you know, block or whatever and and, and attack, if you, if, if you will, um, that that are really difficult to do because uh, because they're they're a good football team still, and uh, so I don't I don't really. Uh, I think our players are smart. I think they know exactly who they've played and how good a team they are just, just by watching them on tape. You know, all you have to do is watch the tape. You watch the tape; it's a good football team now. And uh, they 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 played awfully well against Nebraska. You know, and and they, and they were, you know, and, and Coach Rule he really complimented them. Says you know they were a very physical team and and a well coached football team, which is what they always are. So. Um, don't really talk about it. Just, just focus on us and you know what we have to do to be successful. And these are things we'll have to do, and this is what we have to get better at, or this is what things are how you're going to be attacked, and you have to be understand that, you know, this is you're going to have to defend this, or you have to block this, or uh, you have to make sure you understand how who who you're working to in this look, you know. So it, it's, it's it's just all you, all you all your time is spent on that, and you don't even look at the the other the other periphery, I guess, if you will. You'll be in the bubble the whole week, coach. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's going to rain again tomorrow, I think, but yeah. um, it doesn't really matter. We we will probably be inside because we're playing indoors. So. Basically, you're you're going indoors because you're playing indoors. Correct. That's that's the reason we're doing that. Not today. You might not have any choice. It was pretty nasty out there today. But. Yep. Good questions. All right. That's that it, guys. All right.